Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk about a general overview of the ignition switch wiring. The ignition switch is an essential component of a vehicle's electrical system, responsible for controlling the power supply to various circuits, including the engine starting system. Understanding which wires go to the ignition switch is crucial for diagnosing and troubleshooting electrical issues in a vehicle. In this video, we will dive into the general wiring setup of an ignition switch, explaining the different wires connected to it and their respective functions. Before we begin, it's important to note that the specific wiring configuration can vary depending on the make, model, and year of the vehicle. However, we will outline the most common wire connections found in ignition switches. Always refer to the vehicle's service manual or wiring diagrams for accurate information about your particular vehicle. The ignition switch has one or more wires that connect it directly to the battery or the battery's main power distribution point. These wires provide the primary source of power to the switch and are typically connected to the battery's positive terminal or a designated power distribution block. The ignition switch also has a wire responsible for delivering power to the vehicle's electrical components when the switch is in the on or run position. This wire is often labeled as the IGN or ACC, accessory wire. When the key is turned to the on position, this wire supplies power to various systems, such as the dashboard, interior lights, radio, and other accessories. Another important wire connected to the ignition switch is responsible for providing power to the starter motor when the key is turned to the start position. This wire is often labeled as the ST or start wire. When the ignition switch is in the start position, this wire supplies power to the starter solenoid, which engages the starter motor and cranks the engine. The ignition switch also has wires that provide power to specific circuits or components that are only active when the key is in the on or run position. These circuits can include fuel pumps, ignition coils, electronic control modules, ECMs, and other engine-related components. The specific wire colors and labels for these outputs can vary between vehicles, so consulting the wiring diagrams is crucial for accurate identification. In addition to power wires, the ignition switch is also connected to various ground wires. These ground connections complete the electrical circuits and ensure the proper functioning of the associated components. Ground wires are typically connected to the vehicle's chassis or a designated grounding point. It's worth noting that some vehicles may have additional wires or connections depending on the presence of features like anti-theft systems, immobilizers, or keyless entry systems. These additional wires are specific to the vehicle's manufacturer and model, and their functions may vary. When working with the ignition switch or any electrical components in a vehicle, it is crucial to prioritize safety. Always disconnect the battery before attempting any electrical work to prevent accidental shorts or electrical hazards. If you are unsure about any aspect of the ignition switch wiring or electrical system, it is recommended to consult a professional mechanic or refer to the vehicle's service manual for accurate information and guidance. Remember, this video provides a general overview of the wiring setup of an ignition switch. Always refer to the specific wiring diagrams and information provided by the vehicle's manufacturer for the most accurate and up-to-date details regarding your particular vehicle. Hope this information helped. Subscribe to this channel for more informative videos.